It was a cold Black Friday evening, and the bustling shopping frenzy had finally started to subside. I had just finished my shift at the electronics store and decided to make a quick stop at Walmart before heading home. As I approached my car in the dimly lit parking lot, I noticed a young woman sitting on a bench near the entrance. She looked distraught, huddled in a thin jacket shivering against the biting wind. My instincts kicked in, and I decided to offer her a ride. It was the holiday season, after all, and I wanted to do a good deed. As I approached her, she looked up with tear-filled eyes, and without much hesitation, I asked if she needed help. I missed my bus, and I don't have anyone to pick me up, she explained, her voice trembling. Could you please give me a ride to the next bus stop? Concern etched on my face, I agreed to help. She introduced herself as Emily and seemed genuinely grateful. As we walked towards my car, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The parking lot, once filled with chaotic shoppers, was eerily quiet now. As Emily settled into the passenger seat, I caught a glimpse of two shadowy figures lingering in the shadows. A twinge of unease crawled up my spine, but I brushed it aside, convincing myself it was just paranoia. During the drive, Emily shared a heart-wrenching story about a family emergency and the urgency to reach the next bus stop. I empathized with her plight, feeling a mix of compassion and suspicion. The streets were nearly deserted, and the only sounds were the hum of my car engine and Emily's occasional sniffles. As we approached the supposed bus stop, my GPS guided me to a desolate area on the outskirts of town. Red flags waved in my mind, but Emily insisted that this was the correct location. Uneasy, I pulled over, the dim glow of a flickering street lamp casting eerie shadows. Suddenly, the mood shifted. Emily's tearful demeanor transformed into a sly smile, and before I could react, two burly men emerged from the darkness, blocking any chance of escape. Panic surged through me as realization set in. I had walked right into a trap. What's going on? I stammered, my heart pounding. Emily's sinister grin widened, and the men approached my car, their intentions unmistakably nefarious. It was a setup, a carefully orchestrated ruse to lure unsuspecting victims into a dangerous situation. Fear and adrenaline coursed through my veins as I weighed my options. With a quick glance, I noticed a narrow gap between the two men. Seizing the moment, I slammed my foot on the gas pedal, narrowly squeezing through the opening. Shouts and curses echoed behind me as I sped away, the dark figures diminishing in the rearview mirror. As I drove, the reality of the situation sank in. I had narrowly escaped what could have been a perilous encounter. The encounter left me shaken, questioning the fine line between compassion and caution. Not everyone in distress is truly in need, and the holiday season, with its spirit of goodwill, can also serve as a cover for those with malicious intent. I reported the incident to the police, providing a detailed description of the individuals involved. The authorities assured me that they would investigate, but the perpetrators had vanished into the night. In the aftermath, I couldn't shake the sense of vulnerability that lingered. The incident served as a stark reminder that the holiday season, despite its festive cheer, can bring out both the best and worst in people. It was a lesson learned in the crucible of a Black Friday night, a night that started with a simple desire to help a stranger and ended with a narrow escape from a potentially dangerous trap. As the holiday season continued, I found myself more cautious, more aware of the potential dangers that lurked beneath the surface of seemingly innocent encounters. The episode haunted my thoughts, serving as a cautionary tale not just for me, but for anyone tempted to be a good Samaritan during the chaotic rush of Black Friday. On a cold Thanksgiving night, my friend Jennifer and I decided to embrace the Black Friday madness. We ventured out, our shopping list in hand, ready to conquer the deals. Little did we know that the night would unfold into a spine-chilling experience that still haunts my dreams. The stores were bustling with excitement as we navigated through the aisles, grabbing discounted goods like treasure hunters. The clock struck midnight, and we decided to take a break in a quaint coffee shop nestled between the department stores. Warmth and the rich aroma of coffee greeted us as we stepped inside, providing a momentary escape from the chaotic Black Friday rush. As we sipped our drinks, we noticed a man sitting alone in the corner, seemingly engrossed in a newspaper. Jennifer, always the friendly one, struck up a conversation with him. He appeared harmless, engaging us in small talk about the frenzy outside and sharing a few laughs. However, something about his demeanor set off a faint alarm bell in the back of my mind. 
As the conversation progressed, the man's questions took an unsettling turn. He inquired about our plans, our homes, and even our schedules. Alarm bells grew louder and a chill ran down my spine. I exchanged a worried glance with Jennifer, silently communicating our shared discomfort. Sensing the shift in our mood, the man abruptly excused himself, promising to return shortly. Unease settled between us as we debated whether to stay or leave. Minutes turned to an eternity before Jennifer made the decision for us. Let's get out of here, she whispered urgently, her eyes darting towards the door. Nervously, we gathered our things and headed towards the exit, only to find the man waiting for us. With an eerie smile, he insisted on walking us to our next destination, claiming it was on his way. Fear gripped us, but politeness masked our unease as we declined his offer. Ignoring our protests, he followed us out of the coffee shop and onto the darkened streets. As we hurried through the labyrinth of Black Friday shoppers, the man's footsteps echoed ominously behind us. Panicking, we picked up our pace, weaving through the crowd in an attempt to lose him. The man, undeterred, kept pace, his presence an oppressive weight on our backs. Desperation set in as we ducked into another store, hoping to escape his pursuit. We pretended to shop, constantly glancing over our shoulders to monitor his movements. He lingered at the entrance, his eyes fixed on us with an unsettling intensity. It became clear that this encounter was not a mere coincidence. We were being targeted. Summoning courage, we decided to confront the situation head on. Confrontation, however, only fueled the man's persistence. He continued to tail us, his words growing more threatening with each passing moment. A cold sweat enveloped us as we realized the gravity of the situation. We were being hunted on the very night we had set out for a joyous shopping spree. In a desperate bid to shake him off, we rushed towards a security guard stationed at the store's entrance. Panic and fear painted our faces as we explained the situation, urging the guard to intervene. The security guard, recognizing the severity of the matter, radioed for assistance and escorted us to a more secure location within the store. As we huddled in the safety of the store's security office, we watched the man being escorted out by other guards. Relief washed over us, but the trauma lingered. The police were called, statements were taken, and we learned that the man had a history of similar incidents. The incident served as a harsh reminder that danger could lurk in unexpected places, even in the midst of a festive shopping event. Black Friday, which began as an exciting adventure, had morphed into a nightmarish ordeal that etched itself into our memories forever. The lesson learned that night was one of caution and the importance of trusting our instincts, especially when faced with the unexpected shadows that can emerge in the chaos of Black Friday. The harsh fluorescent lights flickered in the break room as I hastily devoured my Thanksgiving dinner, surrounded by the cacophony of colleagues discussing their Black Friday strategies. Little did I know that the night would take a sinister turn, plunging me into a chilling encounter that would haunt my memories for years to come. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the commencement of Black Friday, the store erupted into a frenzy of shoppers eager to snag the best deals. I braced myself for the chaos, donning the mandatory red vest emblematic of my role as a retail worker in the maelstrom of consumerism. Amid the relentless surge of customers, I found a momentary respite in the break room, seeking solace in the lukewarm coffee and stale cookies that were the only companions to my hurried meal. The din of the shopping madness seemed distant behind the closed door, providing a temporary sanctuary. However, as I finished my meal and prepared to return to the sales floor, the break room door swung open with an ominous creak. A shadowy figure slipped in, unnoticed by the chaotic rhythm of Black Friday outside. My initial assumption was that it was just another weary colleague seeking refuge from the shopping madness. How wrong I was! The stranger, a man of average build with a menacing aura, locked eyes with me. His gaze sent a shiver down my spine, and an unsettling silence hung in the air. Breaking the silence, he spoke in a low, deliberate tone, revealing details about my life that sent a chill through my veins. It was evident this was not a chance encounter. As the realization of the situation dawned on me, panic set in. He blocked the only exit, his eyes glinting with an unsettling determination. In a moment of sheer terror, he lunged towards me. Instinct kicked in, and I pushed away from the table, knocking over a chair in the process. 
Adrenaline surged through my veins as I made a desperate dash for the door. He pursued, his footsteps echoing in the narrow hallway. Panic-stricken, I darted through the labyrinthine staff corridors, desperately seeking an escape route. The harsh buzz of the fluorescent lights above seemed to mock the dire situation as I hurtled towards the emergency exit. With trembling hands, I flung open the heavy door, revealing the cold night air. The emergency alarm blared, a cacophony that paled in comparison to the pounding of my heart. I stumbled into the night, leaving the ominous figure behind, thwarted by the sanctuary of the night and the blaring alarm. Gasping for breath, I fumbled for my phone, dialing 911 as I sought refuge in the anonymity of the night. The police arrived swiftly, their presence a reassuring anchor in the storm of emotions raging within me. My harrowing encounter was recounted to them in painstaking detail, the gravity of the situation settling like a lead weight on my chest. The subsequent investigation unearthed a chilling reality. The man had been observing me for weeks, meticulously gathering information about my schedule and personal life. It was a carefully planned abduction attempt concealed within the chaos of Black Friday. The motives remained unclear, but the terror of the encounter lingered long after the man was apprehended. In the aftermath, security measures at the store were overhauled, and I became hyper-vigilant, constantly glancing over my shoulder in fear of encountering another sinister figure from the shadows. The once familiar aisles became a labyrinth of anxiety, and the break room, once a haven, now harbored haunting memories. Black Friday, a day synonymous with shopping fervor, became a solemn reminder of the thin line between the ordinary and the extraordinary, between routine and the unexpected. The scars left by that night were invisible but profound, a reminder that even in the seemingly secure confines of a workplace, danger could lurk in the most unexpected corners. The break room, once a mundane space for respite, had transformed into the battleground where I fought for my safety, emerging scarred but resilient. It was the eve of Black Friday, and as a seasoned Walmart employee, I braced myself for the retail storm that was about to ensue. Little did I know that this particular Black Friday would be etched into my memory for reasons far beyond the usual chaos of holiday shopping. The store buzzed with anticipation as customers lined up outside, eager to get their hands on discounted treasures. The doors swung open and the frenzy began. Shouts, cheers, and the occasional cart collision created a cacophony that echoed through the cavernous space. Among the sea of shoppers, a young boy caught my attention. He couldn't have been more than ten years old, his eyes wide with excitement as he clutched a carefully saved wad of cash. His goal? A gaming system that had been the object of his desires for months. As the hours passed, I couldn't help but root for the young gamer. He navigated the aisles with determination, occasionally checking his money to ensure he had enough. However, fate had other plans for him. In the electronics section, chaos erupted over a stack of flat-screen TVs, Shoppers lunged at the discounted screens, their hands grappling for the prized possession. Amidst the frenzy, the young boy found himself near the epicenter of the commotion, unknowingly holding his hard-earned cash in plain sight. Suddenly, a shadowy figure emerged from the crowd. The thief, calculating and swift, snatched the wad of cash from the boy's hands. The child's eyes widened in shock and disbelief. I stationed nearby witnessed the unfolding tragedy. Driven by a sense of justice, I sprang into action. Racing through the chaos, I pursued the thief as he darted through the aisles, weaving between frantic shoppers. The stolen money clenched in his fists. He was determined to escape. As we neared the exit, I managed to grab the thief's arm, causing him to fumble. The wad of cash tumbled from his grasp, scattering like leaves in the wind. Shoppers gasped as the stolen money danced through the air, and in the midst of the chaos... The young boy, still in shock, scrambled to retrieve his hard-earned savings. The thief, realizing the jig was up, made a desperate dash for the exit. Despite the crowd's efforts to impede his escape, he slipped through the chaos and disappeared into the night. The victorious cheers of fellow shoppers echoed through the store, a communal celebration of justice prevailing amidst the Black Friday madness. I returned to the electronics section to find the young boy, tears still streaming down his face. Grateful and relieved, he clutched his money, now crumpled but intact. The incident had left an indelible mark on him, 
a lesson about the harsh realities that could accompany the pursuit of a Black Friday deal. In the aftermath, store security reviewed surveillance footage to identify the thief. Though he had evaded capture that night, the incident prompted increased security measures for subsequent Black Fridays, ensuring a safer shopping experience for all. As the adrenaline of the chase subsided, I reflected on the events of that Black Friday. In the midst of the holiday shopping frenzy, a community had come together to protect one of its own. The memory of the young boy's tear-streaked face served as a stark reminder that, beyond the discounted goods and frantic crowds, the true spirit of the season lay in compassion and the willingness to stand up against injustice, even in the midst of a Black Friday TV fumble. A few years ago, my Black Friday shopping took a terrifying turn that would haunt me for weeks to come. It all began on a crisp Thanksgiving night, as my excitement for the impending Black Friday deals mingled with the cool air outside Target. Eager shoppers flooded the store, creating an electric atmosphere. As I browsed through the aisles, hunting for bargains, I noticed a man who seemed oddly fixated on me. At first, I dismissed it as a coincidence, the consequence of navigating a crowded store. However, as I weaved through the labyrinth of discounts and promotions, the unease settled in. Things took a disturbing turn when my phone buzzed with a message from an unknown number. Meet me at the back of the store during your break. The message sent a chill down my spine. How did this person know where I worked, let alone my schedule? Curiosity mingled with caution as I approached the back of the store during my break. The area was dimly lit and the buzz of the Black Friday chaos seemed distant. As I scanned the surroundings, a figure emerged from the shadows. The man from earlier revealed himself, and the familiarity of his face sent shivers down my spine. I've been watching you, he said, his voice a low, unsettling whisper. Panic set in, but I managed to maintain a facade of composure. Why are you following me? I demanded, my heart pounding. His response was cryptic, a mix of vague threats and unsettling details about my life. How did he know so much? The encounter left me shaken, and I hurriedly retreated to the safety of the bustling store. As the night wore on, the man's presence persisted. He lurked in the periphery of my vision, always watching. Fear clung to me like a second skin. I considered seeking help from store security, but the fear of escalating the situation held me back. When my shift finally ended, I breathed a sigh of relief, hoping the ordeal was over. Little did I know the nightmare was just beginning. As I exited the store into the chilly night, I felt his presence behind me. The man, relentless in his pursuit, continued to shadow my every move. Panic set in as I quickened my pace, weaving through the crowded parking lot. Desperation clawed at me. I needed to shake him off. My car, a beacon of safety, loomed in the distance. I fumbled for my keys, glancing over my shoulder to ensure he hadn't closed the gap. Just as I reached my car and locked the doors, he appeared, pressed against the window like a specter from my worst nightmares. I'll see you soon, he whispered, his words sending a chill through the glass. With that, he melted into the shadows, leaving me trembling in the relative safety of my car. Fear and paranoia consumed me in the days that followed. Every shadow seemed to conceal his lurking presence. I changed my routine, took different routes home, and avoided public spaces. Sleep became elusive as the haunting encounters replayed in my nightmares. Unable to endure the torment any longer, I contacted the police. They took my statement, and while sympathetic, they couldn't promise immediate resolution. The next few weeks became a test of resilience as I navigated daily life under the oppressive weight of fear. Eventually, the police identified the stalker and issued a restraining order. The ordeal had a lasting impact on my sense of security, turning Black Friday from a day of excitement into a reminder of the vulnerability that lurks beneath the surface of our everyday lives. Though the legal measures provided some comfort, the psychological scars lingered. The experience taught me the importance of vigilance and the harsh reality that, even in the midst of a festive shopping spree, danger could be just around the corner. As Black Friday approached each year, the memories resurfaced, a chilling reminder of that fateful night at Target. We hope you enjoyed those spine-tingling tales as much as we did. If you're still feeling a little spooked, don't worry, you're not alone. But before we say goodbye, we have a few things to ask of you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you found these stories as chilling as we did. 
It really helps our channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. There are plenty more eerie adventures waiting for you right here, so you don't want to miss out. Share this video with your friends and fellow thrill seekers. After all, spooky stories are best enjoyed with company, right? That's a wrap for today, but stay tuned for more bone-chilling content in the future. Until next time, remember to keep your flashlight handy, your wits about you, and always be ready for the unexpected. Thanks for joining us on this haunting journey. Take care and may your nights be eerily entertaining. See you in the next video.